Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to another episode of Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3 with your host, Shadow Fury 333 And we're going to check out the other side, because that, that's a boss arena. I just know that's a boss arena. Don't want to have to fight it as a boss arena quite yet. Actually, I do kind of want to fight it as a boss arena. Ah. Okay, well... What? How'd they hit me on the way down? Well, that's not supposed to happen at all. I'm plunging attacking... I feel like plunging attacking was weak and... No, I'm dead. Am I dead? Not totally, but I'm not doing so hot. No, that was bad. Darn, I was so close to killing. Whatever, I'll just teleport back to that bonfire. If I'd used the heavy bolt, it would have been fine. Oh, well, I mean, teleport back to the bonfire I was right next to before. This teleport thing is kind of weird. Like, if it weren't for that, I would have probably gone to the bonfire and then healed up and been okay. But then I would have had to deal with that big, well, a big saw-wielding dude that I didn't want to deal with again. So I don't know. That's I'm not sure where I sit on that. Ah. I also don't know why I can't deal with these using a plunging attack reliably. There we go. Okay, well... That was easier. But yeah, I'm going along this way because despite the rats and how annoying they tend to be. Oh, there's no reason to have a crossbow. Oops. That was a waste. Despite how annoying rats tend to be, they're not that Okay, they're kind of annoying. Could you put that? There we go. Much better. Despite how annoying rats tend to be, this gets me closer to my actual goal, which is the bottom of this area, the base of this area, right next to... What the heck? Okay. Yeah, because this is the exact area I wanted to mess around in and see what was going on. There's all these enemies, and there's loot here, and another ember. Okay, that's cool. Oops. Alright, that's fine. And more of these. Oh! I seem to not be reacting as well as I could be, apparently. And the problem is that there's another one of them coming along shortly. Which rather makes my life a bit tricky right now. Because another pot just slammed into me, and I did not like that. One bit. Maybe this will work? Yes, the wall is enough cover. Ow. Oh, better not fall off the cliff. Oh, crap. And once again, gone a bit mad. And, uh, what the? I don't know, stamina. Darn it. There we go. What? Seriously? Well, play it safe then. Okay. I did not expect both of them to be woken up at the same time, but apparently they were. That's less than ideal. How many embers do I have, by the way? Let's use one. Because I feel like you know, not much has been happening. I wonder if I'm missing invasions. I guess invasions must only be when you're embered. I was half expecting they'd be like Dark Souls 2, where it just happened all the time, whether or not you're in, you're in human form or embered or whatever the equivalent is. But I don't know. I haven't seen any invasions. I haven't seen some co-op signs at the start of the level. Oh. Oops, I wanted to kick you. Oh boy. 
Whoa! That was way too close to falling off the ledge. Okay, there we go. I guess plunging attacks, you have to, have to drop a minimum amount in order to be able to do a plunging attack. And that minimum amount is actually fairly high. Oops. Ow. Oh, come on, seriously? There we go. Oh, shoot, no. Woke up too soon. There we go, that's dead. Yeah, that was bad. Anyway, as I was saying, looks like there's a minimum height for plunging attacks, and I have to hit that height, otherwise it doesn't work. I don't... I still don't know if that's well as a shortcut or not. Like, I'm supposed to be able to go down... It looks like there's no ladder or anything. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time in a Souls game that that's been a thing. Oh. Another alluring skull, which would have been handy a little earlier. Actually, maybe I should put that in my quick bar. Oops, no, not you. On here, in place of throwing knives. I don't really need those anymore. I feel like it'd be useful. Just because, you know, you got beasts like that and you think, Oh crap, I want you to do something other than chase after me, and so alluring skull. It's kind of what they're for, but I don't use them often enough. Or, you know, ever. Who are you? You're not targetable, so you're probably friendly. Yeah, you're definitely mm. friendly. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Hello. All you faceless undead, behaving as if you deserve respect. No matter. Heed my words. If you've any sense, you'll go find a coffin to huddle up inside. You, here, in this land of hollows. You're like a frail maiden on the front lines. Hey, don't make fun of my gender that way. If, like the others, you're fool enough to play the champion, then go on ahead. Trapes right past the abandoned church. You'll face death. And it won't be pretty. Enough death to leave you broken. Time after time. <laughs> you're worse than the fire keepers, yeah. too. If, like the others, you can go... Yeah. <laughs> If think <laughs> hopeless, the whole lot of you, like little moths flittering towards a flame. <laughs> yeah. I I don't even know who you are, except you're a jerk. But I'm not terribly surprised. What? Okay. I'm intrigued. There's a thing to shortcut to or from or something and Okay, this is this must be the boss. That means the other area is not the boss. I am gonna at some point put a summon sign down myself, because I do want to be summoned for help. I do enjoy doing that. So I expect to do that pretty soon. Oh wait a sec, no, no no no, I know what that is. I know what the deal is. There's actually an area, as you can see, right further down that I also haven't gone to. That would be where that shortcut goes from. So we go down there and then explore the rest of it. There are some annoying dogs. Or dogs? Dogs? Whatever. Annoying dogs. Get over here, dog. Not sure why I did a strong attack there, but it did do the trick. Hmm. Ah, seriously? Get over here! Darn priest. How is he to get back here? <laughs> Answer's not very. Okay, well, we've kind of I've kind of learned my lesson here about how poise sort of works. Oh, this is fire and death. 
What? No! Ow! Come on, seriously? That's what the crossbow is for! What you saw right there, that's what I like having a crossbow for, is I pretty much got you dead to rights, let's just finish the job. For most of the other stuff, it's basically just... Oh, actually, this is another... What? No, 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 no! no. Wow, what the heck? That was the exact opposite thing I wanted to do. Okay, well, now I'm out of mana. You can go... Get... Hit. There we go. Darn it. I don't know how I didn't realize what weapon I had equipped right there. I feel really foolish right now. Because that would have been just a shot, right? Like, I would have gone and shot the weapon and it would have been fine. But I'm out of Ashen, so I don't have any Estus left. I don't have any... Uh, yes, I have any Ashen Estus left, so I'm entirely reliant on getting my healing from Estus. But this area's also got... Why are there so many places with summonable signs or whatever? Great curse ridden tree ahead. Well, I hear it sounds like a bomb. What? It sounds like a bonfire in there. No clue if it is a bonfire, though I'm starting to suspect it. Maybe after the other area that I suspect is the boss arena? Either one, really? Hmm. So, on that side, there's an area that I can't really go to. But I suspect something is up. On this side, there's an area that I can't... Two areas I can't open from this side. Which means, obviously, the other side. And then there's this whole area that's just... Wow, it's on top of an abyss here. Although... That's the area I think... Yeah, that's the area I'm thinking, oh, this is the boss fight, this is the boss fight. But on the other hand, it looks like, no, it's just another part of it. I go through this church from the back, and that's where I get the shortcut to here. So I need to go back the way I came, and go through that area I thought was the boss fight, because I think the area that is actually the boss fight's up there... And I'm going to want to get a bonfire closer to it, since I don't expect to take it on my first try. Especially given that I'm kind of low in Estes. Now, where's that dog I left back here? The dog I left back here, and I don't know where it is. Ah, there's a zombie dog. I kind of like how they use the physics for small animals. I mean, it's kind of cruel, but at the same time, it's, it's locked. Of course it is. It's cruel, but at the same time, they are trying to kill me. However, it is... It's kind of interesting having that bounce, in a sense. Like, it's just, they... You hit them, and then they fly. I feel like that's a really good use of the physics engine, because the ha the standard Havoc physics thing for all the... Ah, there we go. Bonfire. Okay, before I do this, actually, what I kind of want to do is... What the hell is a Mad Phantom? Although, before, before I do that, gotta level up. So, actually, I'll cut back to when I get back from leveling up. Oh, hey, is this guy. Okay, so, yeah, cutting back to Indefirelink Shrine, because I just found the guy who wanted Loretta's stuff, which apparently I can't give him. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. <laughs> oh. Hey, throwing knives a little later than I needed them, and also... Let's see, wow, a lot of stuff. Hey, I can buy crossbows! That seems like a more reliable way of doing it. Grab the cell key, free this guy, and then get the crossbow from here. For any subsequent... If I do this again... I mean, I don't know if I'm going to do a dual crossbow playthrough, but if you wanted to get a crossbow, this is kind of the easiest way. And embers, because I may need them. Firebombs and such. What else do we have? Oh, this is just everything split up. Hey, standard bolts! I could use those. I mean, not super urgently, but I'm glad I have them. So they talk Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. 
Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. A nuisance, I know, but it will help me tie up some loose ends. Do me a give a new- Well, bad news. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring. As... Well... A little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> oh, Grey Rat needs to find the name. Actually, come to think of it... You can keep the... As... Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, happen, this so. place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, that was interesting. I mean, I did, I did mention what right at the start. I hope there weren't too many Dark Souls One references, and so far there aren't. There's Grey Rat, which is a new oh, character. There's I would do it. Yol, that's the guy's name. Then shall we be bearer of? How does this work? I feel like there's, there's got to be a catch to this. Hollowing. Oh, what? The character will turn hollow. Does that mean that I die? Or is it just like sin from before? Or is that every death that I've had when I was embered up? Which would only be like three, not seven. Although I wonder if that's the whole point. The drop true strength is basically I get free levels, but not really free. They're hollowed levels. Like, I get more levels at the cost of hollowing. Well, anyway, I was bumping up endurance already, so... Might as well. I see no point in bumping up strength and dexterity until my weapons have been bumped up. Like, my weapons upgrades are going to be more effective at this point. And faith, same thing, unless I get a spell. It doesn't seem to really boost my weapon up at all. It doesn't boost my chime or my talisman, whatever. It doesn't seem to boost it. So yeah, get that. Then shall we begin that? Okay, what's the cost? There's... What is the cost of this? There's got to be a cost to this. I'm getting all these levels. What? Maybe there's a condition. I just find this really weird. Why am I getting all these levels? For Be free? safe. Oh, I. Be safe. Especially since hollowing is on there. Well, at any rate, now I have more stamina. Whatever. I'll just cut back to back to where I was in the unend settlement. And I'm kind of honestly unsettled right now. Hey, welcome back, Dark Souls fans. And, yeah, I'm still not sure what to think of that. Although, I do want to see... What is... Hey! So, they do... So, that's... Invaders are considered mad. Interesting. Well, I've been honestly kind of... Waiting for an invader pretty soon. Oh, good attempt. Oh, wow, they're really trying to parry me there. Oh, nice poise. Really nice poise. Oh, invaders can heal up too, huh? Well, this is not the standard honorable duel, I guess. Ow! Oh no. I'm not gonna let you take that for free. Ow. No. Oh well. So close. Why did that enemy come over though? I didn't. How did I provoke it? Okay, so mad phantoms are definitely the new. Red Phantoms. That was interesting. Oops. I was loaded. Okay. Do I want to Ember up again? Actually, now I'm really concerned. Hollowing is 10. Huh. 
How do I get rid of this? I'm so confused and honestly really terrified because I don't want to just lose all progress in this. That, like, that'd be a waste of time. I'd have to... What would I even do? Like, get rid of the entire Let's Play so far and just start all over? Like... I wanted to be able to do this once start to finish. Hopefully that's not a death thing. Hopefully that's just... Maybe using Yol's services just gets you hollowing and I just have to be careful about that. Ow. Oh, that's an option. That's also an option. Great machete. Well, I guess that's a thing you have. What does it say on the description of a great machete, which I cannot use? Oh, worker stool in undead settlement was not intended for use in battle. I guess that makes sense. I don't want to fight that mad phantom again. That was kind of cool. Okay, so this area is not a boss fight. I totally miscalled it. It is, however, another area that has a massive risk to life and limb. I feel like it was an early area like that. Yep, I know it's gonna happen. I got. Oh, wait, I know what's happening. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's. It's firing at anything that moves. What does this remind me of? I mean, it's kind of like the giant memories where you had the the fireballs, but it's not quite like that. It's not quite what I'm thinking of, but there's something that was in an earlier game that was like this. I guess really it's just another dragon, honestly. Okay, so it's basically somewhere in the middle... Nope, it's aimed straight at me. Okay. What, that still hit? Okay, but I can apparently take cover in some places. Oh, wow, that's a splash. Okay, I'm confused. Can I possibly take cover here? How do I avoid this? Uh. Okay, seriously, is there no way for me to get this stuff and avoid all this crap? Apparently not. What the hell? There's a lot of stuff for me to grab here. Like, seriously, game. I get it. Someone's firing at me. I should be able to just roll out of the way or run out of the way. That's how it usually works. Is my Halloween changed at all? Okay, seriously, it, I'm dead. I'm, I can't complete this game. If Halloween is a thing that matters, I'm never going to finish this game because this game is going to probably start itself over or something. Unless there's some way of truly unhollowing, I'm screwed. I'm not happy about that. My estimation of this game has really gone down because, frankly... It's too, it's might likely too long of a game for that to really be a viable option in the long haul. I'm like, I wouldn't be surprised if people have to basically redo entire playthroughs to that stupid hollowing mechanic, assuming it works as terribly as I expect it will. Which seems to be basically every time you die, you get halt. Darn it. Should have known that was a hole. But then why wasn't that hauling mechanic there before? What changed? And why is it going up by three every time? What is going on? How can I possibly complete this? I'm not allowed to die. Or maybe it's part of the Oh, maybe it's part of the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Maybe that's the idea? Oh shit, I am getting hollow. This one do covenants have downsides.
Well, what now? I, I don't get this, and I don't have time to do any sort of co-op because people probably don't want to watch that. At least not more than once. Like, Ember doesn't look like it actually gets rid of hollowing exactly. No, it just gets... Ugh. This is... This is impossible. This game is now impossible. I'm never going to complete this. Worked like any other Dark Souls game, it would be fine. It'd be eventually completed. But if that's not an option, then there's no way out. Oh, I see. It's something like warmth. Oh, that's exactly warmth, actually. It's not something like warmth. It is warmth. Thanks for the warmth. Ah. Oh, poisoning me out, eh? Ah, nice try. Oh. Again with the nice tries, but it's not gonna be enough. Not this time. Come on, just do the attack. There we What? We don't go? How the heck did I miss? There we go. Finally got rid of that enemy. Not sure what that means, though. But I got rid of Dark Spirit. What does a vertebra shackle do? Does that reduce hollowing? Because I clearly need something to do that. I don't know what's happening. Yes, I am terrified. I don't like the idea of progress being done. Moundmaker Covenant. I can't use it. It must be a covenant item for killing that enemy. I mean, maybe it's... If I find the Moundmaker's Covenant, it'll be useful? I don't know. But now I'm getting terrified. Why is Hollowing start... Hollowing is never a thing. Why is Hollowing now a thing? What did I change? I started Warriors of Sunlight. That's about it. But why would that work any differently now than it did before? But hey, I'm... Ah! Uh, no! Stupid game! I didn't want to move that way! I just wanted to get up! Ah! Uh, now it's probably 19 or something stupid. Yes, of course it is. Uh, this is bullshit. What the hell did I change? I don't see anything that I changed about the game except that I went and started a covenant. So unless that's the problem, if you start covenants, then your game is in jeopardy of being unwinnable. It's the only thing that comes to mind. So the arrow will kill those two first. Then it'll come after me. Oh, come on! What is this? I probably have to kill that giant. I don't care. I just want to get that item and go. Ugh. Stupid hollowing thing just freaking me out too much. I can't... I can't stay sane. I don't know what's going to happen. Because, by the way, for those of you not familiar, there has never been any kind of long-term penalty other than losing a bit of health, which you restore to humanity, but never been any kind of true long-term penalty in any Souls game for anything. I guess Insight's kind of close, but you could spend Insight. You probably can't spend Hollow. Ah, uh. Like, 
my health isn't being affected as far as I can tell, and that was the problem in earlier games. Like, in 2, your health was reduced gradually. But it wasn't... Like, wasn't anything else. I'm supposed to get rid of this. Ah, get away! I don't have time for you. The hollowing is getting worse. I don't have any way of reversing it. I'm guessing something to do with helping people out in co-op, which, like I said, I don't think there's... It's a good for a show to do that a lot. So I might do that off... I'm planning on doing that off camera. Because I do want to do co-op and help people out. I just don't want to be doing the co-op show all the time. Like, that's... I think bad show shape. Okay, that's an SS flat. Well, that'll build up my SS flask at any rate. Whatever, just run past it. I guess that was worth it. But, uh, I'm getting really worried, because what's my halt? 28? No, between this episode and the next one, I'm going to try doing some co-op and see if that helps. Maybe killing a boss produces hollowing. If not, then I don't know. I guess I'm just on a clock and the game is going to be unwinnable. I'm guessing when it hits 99 or something, the game is just over. Or something. I don't know. It's unusual, but... Why else would it count up like that? Especially so fast. Oh, wait. I should have read the... Darn it. I just assumed... Oh, it is an SS Flask plus one. Okay. Should have probably read the net bone shard first. I, I cannot think... Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so I'll be back after I do a bit of co-op and hopefully get through this hollowing crap, because I don't get it. So see you then.